The Pentagon will release a much anticipated report tomorrow on Don't Ask, Don't Tell. And the Senate Armed Services Committee will hold hearings on its findings later this week. But it is still not clear if Congress will repeal the policy. Jonathan Hopkins is a spokesman for OutServe and a former U.S. Army captain. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Tamron. First of all, obviously, most people probably never heard of OutServe. What is OutServe and, and what's the goal with this organization? OutServe is an underground network of gay and lesbian active duty service members serving throughout the United States military. The goal of OutServe is to provide a voice to 65,000 or so uh, active duty gay and lesbian service members throughout the military, a voice that has been effectively silenced uh, by this law that gags people most affected by it from speaking about the effects now, of the I'm law. Now, I'm you've got about 1,200 members worldwide who are part of this underground network, I imagine, offering support and guidance to one another as you, though, live in secret. Right, and we find that uh, for a lot of people that are serving, especially overseas, they don't get the opportunity to find out what is really going on with the law, especially with the uh, temporary suspension of enforcement, people serving on submarines. The last thing they heard before they uh, lost kind of contact with the world was, okay, it's okay to be out in the military, right. and the next thing they know, it's, it's changed. It's not okay, but here we are now. The Pentagon will release this report. We do know from uh, reporting at NBC News and MSNBC, about seven Seventy percent of the 400,000 surveyed say basically they would be fine with gays and lesbians serving openly in the military. But you still have others like Senator John McCain who uh, vow to fight on it and say that this is not the time to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell. What are your hopes for this hearing and as we move ahead? Well, ultimately, I, I just hope that people like Senator McCain hear the truth, uh, that those that know other gay, no, th those straight people that know gay and lesbians serving openly usually come to accept them. And they judge those people based on one simple guide, what is their competence and character to do the job. It's only when we live in this, uh, in this scenario of enforced ignorance where stereotypes uh, and discrimination are pervasive. Well, I should remind our audience that you received three bronze stars, including one for Valor. You were outed on the very day that you learned of your early promotion to major. You are the face of our men and women who serve and those who've been able, uh, who've not been able to serve openly is who they are. But we appreciate you joining us today. And again, thank you for your service for this country. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much, Tamara. Absolutely.